I trust you've watched the, the punching video that we created for you, just teaching you the basics of how to punch. That's the most critical element. But moving on from there, there are a number of other strikes. Different styles use different strikes in slightly different ways. So once again, I'm going to try and give you some fundamental principles that you can take back to your sensei, you can work with and train. I'll give you some simple ways, some slightly more advanced techniques, some ideas on focus of power, and I'm also going to work on some advanced strategies to really improve your technique. First strike, uda uchi, or a back fist strike. Bring the arms up, tucking the elbows in, and having the palms facing backwards. Uda uchi, or the back fist strike, is simply a strike with the back of the front two knuckles. So from here, we extend the hand out, strike, and bring it back. Extend the hand out, strike, and bring it back. The key to this strike is the striking part of the hand. So as we extend the hand outwards, the wrist rolls forwards, and you're striking with Seiken, the front two knuckles, once more. The wrist needs to be loose for this strike. Don't have a tight hand. Style dependent, this is designed to be a whip action. So the strike itself, with the elbow staying still, is out to the front for striking. Have a little bit of pressure downwards with your elbow as you strike. Try not to move your elbow, as it will move the effectiveness and the location of the final strike. But a little bit of pressure downwards and striking out to the front. Good movement of the wrist and whips back. Slowly. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's an advanced concept with Uruchi or your back for strike. Remember that the keys are speed and weight of a technique. Sometimes you see around the world people striking and not having any weight to the technique. This is instead something that should be hitting heavy. And in order to hit heavy, you must relax the technique. So as you strike out, relax your body, shoulders down, think about the middle of your tummy as with punching, tighten your heart and strike out to the front. Try to avoid extra movement or telegraphing the movement. Practice rather elbowing close, one fist distance from the body and extending the hand out. Don't overpower it and don't try and move too fast. In terms of impact, once again, the strike is designed to impact two-thirds of the way through the movement and not at the end of the movement. So the strike comes out, extends and pushes through the target slightly. This allows good weight of the technique into the target. So moving on to the concept of a back fist strike, we move on to strike number two. And this is an ura uchi, a back fist strike out to the side often called different things, yoko uraken or uraken uchi, various names for it, but it's a back fist to the side. For kihon, start with the hands in the middle, knuckles facing each other, don't have the elbows too high and shoulders down. This strike comes out to the side, rotating the head and extending the arm out, striking with exactly the same part of the hand as uruchi and Come back to the center. Out and back. Out and back. Out and back. Make sure when striking you rotate the head as far around through its movement as you can. Rather than just using the eyes, turn your head for the rotation of the strike. Turn out to the side and look, return back to the center. In terms of the basic technique, don't allow the elbow to rise. If you allow the elbow to rise, you're also lifting your shoulder, which disengages your body. Once you've disengaged your body, you've minimised the amount of power you can deliver in the technique. So rather, allow the hand to do the work. Keep the elbow slightly bent and strike out temple level. 
Jordan head level. So with me, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. For the purpose of this strike, you should practice the three levels. So we allow ourselves to develop Jodan, Chudan, and Gedan. When you're practicing the technique, Jodan, Chudan, Gedan. But with all strikes, punches, and advanced strikes, we need to think about the location of our technique. And there are three basic locations of technique. In, in other words, three basic locations that you're hitting. Where are you striking to? The first one is Jodan, or a head level strike. The strike here is officially the septum, or the part of the bone just underneath the nose, coming down through the top lip. In Chinese medicine, this is governing vessel 26. The second height of striking technique is the solar plexus just below the zippy sternal angle of the ribs and just below the xiphoid process, the little bone that extends down, there's a little spot here which is empty of muscle. It's called the solar plexus. And this is where most chudan or body level techniques are aimed. For goju and other styles, we tend to strike more out to the side, but for sports karate, the focus is definitely to the middle. The Zyphoid process represents REN 14, or conception vessel 14 in Chinese medicine, and has a direct impact on the heart and the heart chi, the energetics of the heart. The third height to practice is that of Gedan, or a lower level, groin level strike. And the striking area is REN 2, or right on the pubic bone, the pubic symphysis. And so this is a downward strike into the groin. So we have.